Hi, this is Kim Thompson Pinder, host of the Author to Authority podcast. And today I have a very special program for you. And I want to talk about fathers and those male influences in my life that made a difference. Nobody goes through this life without being affected by people. And as a woman, I had the great honor and privilege of growing up with men who believed in me. Men who saw my potential and men who encouraged me to become who I am today. And so I want to take a few moments and just honor those wonderful men in my life, starting with my dad. You know, it's been about 16 and a half years since he passed, and there's still many times that I miss him greatly. And to be honest, I could go on for hours and hours and hours about all the things that my dad did for me in my life. And if you've heard my story, you know that my mother died at four, so it was my dad who raised me. So he has a very, very special place in my heart. And when my mother passed away, my dad had a choice. A lot of people told my dad that, you know, he should give my sister and I up for adoption. But my dad said, these are my girls and I'm raising them. So either help me or go take a flying leap. Now, I think he used probably a little bit stronger language than that. But when he told me about that when he was little, obviously he wasn't going to use those kinds of words. But one of the greatest things that I learned from my father was how to love and respect all people. My dad loved everybody. It didn't matter who you were, where you came from, the color of your skin, the clothes you wore, what kind of hair did you have? You got remember I was a kid in the 70s and 80s, so there was some pretty weird stuff going on there. But my dad loved everybody, and he modeled that for me. And he taught me that everyone had value and worth. And that was probably the greatest gift that my dad ever gave me, was the ability to love and see others as they truly are and to see it past a lot of the external stuff that the world looks by at and to see the heart of a person. So dad, thank you so much. That was the greatest gift you could have ever have given me. And I miss you tremendously. Now the next man on my list has been with me. Well, pretty well about 30 years now since we really met and started dating and it'll be 30 years in February since we got married and that's my wonderful husband Ross and again here's another one where I've got a lot of stories to tell but I want to thank my husband for always standing by my side through good through bad through sickness and in health he has forsaken all others and clinging only on to me. It doesn't mean he doesn't love other people, but he is the most faithful husband that there could ever be. He's my best friend. We have been through so much together. And yet through it all, he has never stopped loving me. And he has never stopped being an example of a godly man who loves the Lord and loves others. And so I'm so thankful to my husband, who's allowed me to dream big dreams and who's allowed me to go for it and to become the woman that I was created to be. Now, the next person on my list is my son, Daniel. And my son amazes me. He's now a father and I love watching him with his son. And I'm so thankful for the wonderful godly man he is who loves his wife and loves his family and provides and works hard who gives generously to others and who invests in other people's lives son i love you so much but you know outside of my family and there were some other people too like my uncle george my uncle george loved me 
And when my dad had to do things and couldn't be there, it was my Uncle George and Aunt Diane who took care of me. And Uncle George taught me how to laugh and enjoy life. And he's gone too now. But Uncle George, I miss you too. But you know, were there other men that were in my life that made a difference who didn't see me as just a little girl or just a teenage girl or just a young woman or just as a woman. They saw me as someone with gifts, talents, and abilities and something to share with this world. And they encouraged it. One of my favorite teachers, Mr. Burnett, knew that there was more in me and pushed me to bring out the best in me that could. But you know who else I'm also thankful for? I've had some really amazing pastors in my life who have been godly shepherds to their people, who have poured and invested in me, who have encouraged me to be all that God created me to be. And these pastors made a difference. And sometimes they don't even know the difference that they made in my life, but they did. And each one planted seeds in my life that are now bearing a whole bunch of great fruit. And, you know, I've also had some amazing mentors in my life. And sometimes they didn't even know they were my mentors. These were men who, entrepreneurial men who shared their wisdom and their knowledge so freely, who didn't see me as just a woman who should stay in the background, but encouraged me to become more. People like Doug Firebaugh, wonderful mentors like Jim Rohn, Brian Tracy, Zig Ziglar, Og Mandino. These men all wrote books that inspired my heart and taught me new skills and encouraged me. You know, there was men that I went and saw at conferences that never knew that one thing they spoke that made such a tremendous difference in my business. You know, current mentors, mentors like Kyle Wilson, who is Jim, was Jim Rohn's 18-year business partner, who is now carrying the torch and making a difference in the lives of the others, of others, and encouraging them to become all that they were meant to be, and pouring into those people. But you know what? I also want to feature some of the amazing clients that I've had in my life. Clients like Larry Levine and Ram Nayar and Daryl Amy and Mario Preca and, and Oliver Momeno. You know, Oliver was my first writing client. And he didn't see a woman and he didn't see someone. He just saw that I could write his words. And I was so honored, Oliver. You'll never know how much that meant to me that you believed in me enough to give me the opportunity to help you with your book. People like Patrick Tinney as well. All these amazing clients who encouraged me as a person and allowed me to be part of their book writing process, who refers clients to me, who encourages me. You guys will not know the difference that you have made in my life. And I just want to take a moment and talk to the men who are listening to this podcast. You have an amazing opportunity to make a difference. I know so many of the messages that the world sends today says that men, is, men are dumb, men are stupid, men are lazy, men don't care, men don't make a difference, but that's not true. You make a difference. And I want to encourage you, especially during this year of 2020, between COVID and all that we see going on in the States, stand up. Be that courageous, strong gentleman. Be that warrior on the inside who loves and protects. Be the one who is willing to plant those seeds in others and then water them and watch them grow. You can make a difference. You were created to make a difference in the lives of others. And I thank you men who don't see men as men and women as weak. 
you have no idea the difference you make in this world when you see people as people and you love them and you support them and you encourage them and you plant seeds in their life and you share your knowledge and you treat them with respect. Do you want to know how you change the world? One person at a time. One small action at a time. Do you know when you treat somebody with respect, it encourages them to treat others with respect? When you take someone under your wing and you mentor them, then you encourage them to do the same. That's how we make a difference. That's how we change the world, is one person at the time. Because the only way the world will change is when the heart of the person has changed. When love becomes more powerful than hate and anger and resentment. So I want to thank you listeners for giving me the opportunity to honor those men who have made a difference in my life. I'm not even sure what to say at this moment, but thank you is just not big enough, but it's the best word that I can come up with at this time. So this has been Kim Thompson Pinder on the Author to Authority podcast. Thank you so much for listening. And we will see you on the very next episode. Bye now.